In this tutorial, we will try to introduce you step by step what the pen tool is, what it does, and its features in MS Paint. To get the most out of this training, following this content and our previous and subsequent or other related trainings that we publish in series will help you understand and achieve much more. When we open MS Paint, we are greeted by a clean and blank canvas. Canvas, as we have explained in previous lessons, is simply the name of the surface on which we draw or paint. The pen tool helps us to freehand draw according to the selected thickness settings. The size panel has for settings from thin to thick. For a better understanding, we draw sample lines on our canvas with four different thickness settings. However, the thickness setting is not limited to just for options. To access more thickness options, we can use the key combination control and plus as a shortcut. With the pen tool selected, we thicken our lines with the key combination control and plus and thin our lines with the key combination control and minus. For a better understanding of this topic, we will present all thickness options in an accelerated format. As you can see, after one level, we reach the limit of our thickness setting. The minimum thickness setting is one pixel. Let's create black rock-like images with the pen tool at its thickest and demonstrate another function of the pen tool. The other function of the pen tool is to draw with a secondary color or background color. On a completely white canvas, if the second background color is also selected as white, it will perform a kind of erase operation. With different thickness settings and our second color white, we create a different pattern by erasing some of the black shapes with long wavy lines. We add a gray color to our palette that is lighter than the lightest gray. We will use the pen tool to draw a cube and a very simple fountain pen drawing. But first, we need to organize our canvas a little more and record the stage of the work. We've already mentioned that. We can also use the pen tool as an eraser using the right mouse button with the second color of the pen tool set to white on the boldest setting to erase the lines we don't want in bulk. In the pen tool, we can also use white erase as a kind of sculptural shaving or two-dimensional modeling tool to remove excess parts. We can use the selected background color with the right mouse button and the selected foreground color with the left mouse button. Details like our mouse movement and line thickness directly affect our style. We organized our canvas space a bit more for a cube and a very simple fountain pen painting. With the pen tool selected, we roughly draw the positions and dimensions of our pen and cube shape with the thickest setting and lightest shade of gray in our palette. We completed the sketches with the lightest gray color in our palette. Using the pen tool as an eraser, we now make this sketchy shape a little more elegant and save it. First, to complete the cube drawing, we choose a darker shade of the lightest shade of gray in our palette and the thinnest, one pixel thick setting of the pen tool and start outlining the cube image with research lines and scribbles. In the next step, we will make the edge lines of the cube more pronounced and give it a simple shading effect. To do this, we will go over the necessary areas and highlight them with dark gray tones and finally with black lines. We apply this algorithm step by step in the fountain pen drawing. And finally, using the same methods, we create and draw the inscription pen tool. We make the border lines and contours of the fountain pen drawing a little thicker and do some hatching. You can see that when we play our work, that we have recorded in certain stages, in series in a slide sequence, the moving pictures that are created turn into a simple animation. Step by step, it can be turned into a short animation where we show the development and evolution of this work. We plan to publish content on this topic and more in our future trainings. We will create our fountain pen and cube drawings in a different way again using the pen tool. This time we're going to use the method 
we mentioned earlier more intensively and use the pen tool as a sculptor's tool to carve and shape the shape in more detail. We will make erasures, additions and edits to the shape to make the fountain pen form more distinct. By applying different thicknesses, we continue the process step by step until the shape we start to create is a thinner, elegant and distinct fountain pen. We will use the same methods to create a special style of text. As with the previous work, we save our work at certain stages. Again, we turn it into a simple animation or a series of moving pictures that we can play in series on a slide. Thus, we have come to the end of this training. If you haven't seen it, we recommend you to watch the previous content we have shared in this series and the upcoming ones. We will continue the series with more beautiful trainings, and we will be with you again very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon, and thanks for watching.